My name is Ilya Zehra and I'm a journalist. Uh, a few days ago, I wrote an op-ed for the Daily Times after which I received a lot of hate mails and abuse on social media. Um, the article was about DJ ISPR Asif Kapoor's statement that a fifth generation hybrid warfare is underway on social media and that uh, mainstream media needs to do positive reporting to counter the threats. Uh, I said that the whole narrative of the so-called hybrid war is actually an attempt to suppress criticism of the establishment and justify censorship. That was the basic argument. Uh, and I also uh, condemned the government's decision of placing MNAs Ali Wazir and Mohsin Dawar on the exit control list uh, for their participation in a PTM rally uh, in Swabi. Uh, the parliament did not collectively condemn the mistreatment of its uh, members even though the decision was uh, reversed uh, by the government after outrage on social media. Um, and I also wrote that uh, uh, the government does not seem to be interested in carrying out a meaningful and decisive action against extremist cleric Khadim Hussain Dari who was taken in uh, protective custody uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, the information minister told us that uh, Khadim Rizvi is being taken in protective custody to maintain law and order. Uh, so, But we don't know what became of the cases which were registered against him. We don't know if there would be some kind of, you know, a proper action against him if, they would be, if, if he would be properly prosecuted. So, uh, I said that uh, the sympathizers and workers of the Pashtun Tahapuz movement are being intimidated and harassed across the country. And uh, there is, you know, there is a difference between how the government deals with uh, dissenters uh, and how it deals with the likes of Khadim Rizvi. Uh, uh, you know, I spoke about the double standards uh, at play here. So, uh, and I also said that uh, what the PTM is demanding is, you know, it's very much within the, uh, within the ambit of our constitution and uh, their demands are not unconstitutional. They're only demanding an end to uh, human rights violations that have long been taking place uh, in the tribal region. So, uh, but I've been getting a lot of uh, abuse and backlash for saying all of these things because uh, I think that it's because of the fact that people think that anyone who criticizes the establishment's policies is probably, uh, you know, an enemy agent or uh, they work for some other, you know, enemy state. That's uh, that's not uh, the right thing to say at all. Uh, criticism of the establishment of is, you know, there's nothing wrong uh, constitutionally with, with criticizing your your policies so we need to be a bit open to criticism and uh, so uh, uh, this is nothing new for me you know journalists who write on sensitive issues such as these are you know they're open to uh, they're you know very vulnerable and uh, you know they're just used to getting all these hate mails but I thought that this time I should respond to uh, all the hate and make a vlog for the purpose so here I am now to respond to the uh, to the uh, name calling and to, to people who are calling me CI on Roy and for saying that our army is actually uh, trying to uh, suppress dissent. Uh, I want to say that uh, I am, first of all, uh, I am not a CI or Roy agent. Uh, I am just another Pakistani who wants to see a Pakistan where, uh, where people are not abducted or killed for expressing their views. Um, I want a Pakistan where religious and ethnic minorities are not discriminated against. I want a Pakistan where hate mongers like Khadim Rizvi are not uh, free to incite violence and block the roads whenever they want. If wanting this all makes me a CIO raw agent, then go ahead and call me that.